Yeah, 
Baba tunakubariki asante kwa sababu ya neema na msaada wako. Asante ni kwa sababu ya wingi wa ndugu zako katika haya madhabahu na katika ibada ya siku ya leo. Jina lako libarikiwe na jina lako likapate kuinuliwa. Asante kwa kipengele ambacho kwa mbele yetu. Asante kwa wale ambao wameingia katika ibada hii hata wale ambao wanatazama akiwa sehemu mbalimbali katika dunia hii. Baba natangaza ya kwamba neema yako itakwenda kuwafikia na hakuna mtu ambaye ameushika na kushiriki katika ibada ya siku ya leo atabakia mtu wa kawaida tena katika jina la Yesu. Baba nimetangaza sauti yako ambao umeinena katika haya madhabahu. Baba itakwenda kutimia na hakuna anayeweza kuizuia maana bwana majeshi ukifungua mlango hakuna wa kufunga na ukisema ndio hakuna wa kupinga baba nakubariki na nakuinua asante kwa sababu ya neno lako ambalo tunaenda kuishiriki naomba ikalete manufaa ikalete faida isirudi bure lakini katimize matakwa yake katika wanadamu ambao umetuma ikakuja kuwasaidia nakubariki bwana na kuinua na ni kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini na mtu aseme amen Ay amina ni kidogo hiyo tumpigie Yesu makofi mazuri. Haleluya. Haleluya. Nasema haleluya. Amen and amen. Thank you so much. Karibuni sana watazamaji wetu mahali mnatazama from Jesus Kings Ministry Mchito wa Ndei na Mungu wa mbinguni ametusaidia sana na tunashukuru kwa sababu ya nafasi nyingine kama hii. Tafadhali pata kiti chako na unapokaa pale ukalie taabu ambazo zilikuwa zimerushwa kwa anga yako forever. Eh hiyo 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 kona tuliko nini? Amen. Mbona leo hauko rohoni ni nini? Hallelujah. Sasa hivi umekaa taabu alizokuwa amekunushia uzikalie daima. Amen. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Sema amen. Amen. Na leo ni ibada inaitangwa Super Monday in lunch hour service. Tunaitanga super kwa sababu ndio inatupeleka mpaka tuone lile wiki itasongea. Amen. Amen. Mimi nataka ni kuandae kwa sababu maisha inapenda kubadilika siku ya leo. Aha. We live in a life of a constant battle. Hii maisha tunaishi, Aha. tunaishi maisha ya vita kila siku. Na ni lazima kama tutasonga mbele tusukume mtu tumuondoe. Yes. Maana Mungu anamwambia Musa enda ukatume ukatoe wana wa Israeli Misri ni wapeleke katika inji ambayo imekaa watu wanaitwa Jebusites, Etites, Perizzites, yani ni inji ambayo tayari iko na watu lakini wataenda wakawatoe pale. Kwa hiyo siku ya leo nataka nilete mahubiri ambayo imejaa vita ili tukapate kuondoa muiti ndio wewe upate nafasi. Amen. Ujasikia vile nimesema? Amen. Tuondoe mchawi ukae mahali pake. Amen. Tuondoe waganga tuchukue mashamba yao. Amen. Tuondoe watu ambao wanakudharau ulingi ndio upate baraka. Amen. Sema Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. Nipatie neema ya vita. Nipatie neema ya vita. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Hii maisha ya Ukristo hapana 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 kulala, hapana relaxing. Kila siku we are in a constant battle. Panaitwa asifiwe. Amen. Na some of us tunapitia vita ndiyo Mungu apate kudirisha kile kiko ndani yetu. Amen. Panaitwa asifiwe. Amen. Ukiona unapitia vita ni kumaanisha wewe sio mtu wa kawaida. Kuna kitu isiyo ya kawaida iliyo ndani yako. Amen. Shukuru Mungu wakati unapitia vita baada ya vita. Maana hiyo ni kumaanisha ukimaliza vita kuna mahali unaenda kuoccupy. Amen. Somebody say I will occupy. I will occupy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sema mahali wanajaribu kunizuia. Mahali wanajaribu. Hapo ndio nitaingia. Hapo ndio nitaingia. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Kitabu kile cha matendo ya mitume nafundisha kuhusu fighting powers of opposition. Ama kupiga nguvu ama maroo pingamizi. Powers of opposition ndio mtu aweze kusonga mbele ni lazima uwe umekonga some powers. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Ndio maana Biblia inasema ya kwamba in the book of John chapter 1 verse number 2. Yes. Who believed in him? Uh-huh. He gave them power to become yes. his children. Kwa hivyo anajua ya kwamba the first thing kukupatia maana unakaa katika constant uh, constant battle ni lazima kupatie power kwanza ndio ujisaidiage na power sema mimi niko na power mimi niko na power sema mimi niko na power mimi niko na power katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu so mtendo ya mitume kifungu kile cha 13 tutaanza mstari wa 5 mpaka 10 nataka nikuonyeshe 
Huyu ni mtumishi wa Mungu Paulo. Wanahubiri injili. Na wanafika mahali injili inaanza kupingwa. Wale ambao sisi ni wahubiri usiai ambiwa na mtu ya kwamba ati kila siku utahubiri itapokelewa. Kuna watu wamejipanga kuikataa na kuna Amen. wengine Mungu ameandaa kuipokea. Amen. Lakini all in all ulazima uende mpaka ufike mwisho. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bibi nasema hivi Acts of Apostles chapter 13 verse 5 to 10. Mm-hmm. They are there in the town of Salamis they went to the Jewish synagogues and they preached to the preached the word of God. John Mark went with them as their assistant. Verse 6. Afterward they traveled from town to town across the entire island until they finally reached Paphos where they met a Jewish sorcerer a false prophet named Baljesus verse 7 he, he had attached himself to the governor Sergius Paulus who was an intelligent man the governor invited Barnabas and Saul to visit him for he wanted to hear the word of God verse 8 but Elimas the sorcerer as his name means in Greek in the fear and urged the governor to pay no attention to what Barnabas and Saul said he was trying to keep the governor from believing verse 9 so Saul known as Paul was filled with the holy spirit somebody say i am filled with the holy spirit i am filled with and i am going spirit. to confront powers of darkness and i am going to confront so, the powers of darkness Saul also known as Paul was filled with the holy spirit and he looked the sorcerer in the eye verse 10 then. then he said you son of the devil full of every sort of deceit and fraud and the enemy of all that is good will you never stop perverting the true ways of the lord verse 11 watch now for the lord has laid his hand up of punishment upon you and you will be struck blind you will not see the sunlight for the for some time instantly mist and darkness came over the man's eyes and he began groping around begging for someone to take his hand and lead him verse two of the last one when the governor saw what had happened he became a believer for he was astonished at the teaching about the lord That is very powerful. Amen. That is very powerful. Amen. Hapo ndio mimi nataka tuingie wale wanajeshi tumebaki katika hii ufalme. Me too. Tufike mahali tukikuta mtu ambaye anapotosha watu tunamconfront with the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Biblia tuletea habari za 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 Barnabas na Saul ambaye ndiye Paulo. Mm. Na wanaenda kuhubiri katika ki ki, ki, ki siwa fulani ambao walikuwa wameenda kuleta injili. Mm. Biblia inasema kwamba walipofika pale wakapata huyu ngava na ambaye alikuwa amepokushwa ama akaondolewa kuamini Mungu na huyu muganga anajiita Baron Jesus. Yes. Sema kila Baron Jesus. Kila bar Jesus. Mahali nimetoka. Mahali nimetoka. Nikirudi leo hii. Nikirudi leo Macho hii. yako itapotea. Macho yako itapotea. Ongea kama unamaanisha sema kila Baron Jesus. Kila bar Jesus. Kila mchawi ama muganga. Kila mchawi ama muganga. Anayepotosha watu wa Mungu. Dio wasijue ukweli. Nikirudi mahali nimetoka. Nikirudi mahali nimetoka. Nito wa, nito wa macho. Wote macho. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Alipofika pale akamwambia ngava na sikia habari ya Yesu. Yesu Kristo anaokoa. Yesu Kristo anaponya. Yesu Kristo anabadilisha watu. Yesu Kristo anainua. Haya. Ngava na akaacha shughuli zake kaja kusikiza injili ya Sauli ama Paulo na, ba, na Barnabas. Amen. Na walikuwa na mtu mwingine alikuwa anaitwa alikuwa anaitwa John Mark. Kwa hivyo wakiendelea kubiri, kama na akatoa aka withdraw attention yake kwa mganga, akakuja kusikiza pastor. Yes. Masaa imefika na na masaa ni leo. Yes. Waganga wapoteze makastoma. Hallelujah. Nasema Masai imefika na ni Ember season. Yes. Wachawi na warogi wapoteze makastoma. Yes. Na watu wote tuwalete kwa injili ya Kristo. Amen. Sema my father my God. My father my Fill God. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. I want Spirit. to win souls. 
I want to in the name of Jesus. In the name of Nataka kuvuna mioyo. Akaenda hapo, aka withdraw attention yake ngamba na akakuja kusikiza wahubiri. Ila nasema kwamba alipoona ya kwamba ngamba na ametoka kwake akaenda kwa mapasta akakasirika. Ila nasema ya kwamba akainuka na akaanza kubishana na wao. Paulo akiwa amejawa na Roma takatifu vile vile imesema ile ni mstari ile ya mstari ya verse 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 7 somewhere there inasema uh, he had attached himself to the governor Sergius Paula Paulus who was an intelligent man the governor invited Barnabas and Saul to visit him for he wanted to hear the word of God na hapo verse 8 inasema ya kwamba but Elimas the sorcerer as his name means in Greek in the fear and the anxious the governor to pay no attention to what Barnabas and Saul said yani unaona amekuja akamwambia usiende hiyo kanisa na hivyo ndio lako jambao inaendelea kule nje. Watu wakisema nasikia hii kitu inasumbua nataka kwenda kuombewa. Muganga anatokea na mwambie usiende hiyo kanisa. Amen. Tumekuja kuopose those powers. Yes. Nasema tumekuja kupiga nguvu pingamizi. Yes. Zinazopinga ndugu zetu wakikombolewa. Yes. Nguvu za ngiza zinazopinga watu wa familia zetu wakikombolewa. Yes. Tumekuja kuzisimamisha. Yes. Nipate fire mtu ambaye anaamini. Fire. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Akamwambia usiwasikize hawa watu. Verse number 9. Hebu tusomee Kiswahili pale. Verse number 9. Matendo ya mitume 13 mstari wa 9. Basi Saulo ambaye aliitwa pia Paulo, Aha. akiwa amejaa Roho Mtakatifu. Aha. Alimkondolea macho huyo mchawi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Wakati naongea kuhusu fighting powers of opposition, yeah. sio vita tunapigana kwa nguvu ya ugali. Aha. Aha, ni Roho Mtakatifu atukalie. Yeah. Inaitangwa Roho ya vita. Amen. Sema Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. Nibatize na upako wa vita leo. Nibatize na upako Mimi wa vita. Mimi nataka kupigana vita. Mimi nataka kupigana vita. Kwa hiyo anasema Paulo akiwa amejaa Roho Mtakatifu. Yes. Aka aka confront. Amen. You know you cannot confront a wicked person ukiwa hauna nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu. Yes. Maana nguvu ya mwili itakwambia atakuronga. Lakini Roho Mtakatifu atakwambia I can do all things yeah. through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ukiwa na Roho Mtakatifu utasikia kitu inakwambia uh, walio upande wetu ni wengi kuliko walio upande wao. Amen. Kwa hivyo Paulo yeye hakushidia mambo mengi, aka confront the mchawi hapo kwa hapo, akamwambia Hiyo verse 9 endelea tu mpaka hapo tufike till. Akasema, aha, mdanganyivu wa kupindukia. Aha. Na mlagai wewe. Na mlagai. Yani umekuu kilagai ya watu. Just imagine, aulu governor, kila mwisho wa mwezi anayandanga kwa muganga. Yes. Kwa nesu asifiwe? Yes. Lakini kile anafanyiwa, siyo the truth. Yes. Anapewa kitu ya kumblind. Na wakati ya mm. mekaribia kujua ukweli, mm. muganga anaanza kureact. Amen. Yuna sikianga vile tunawakamatanga hapa, watakangi kusikia tunakombua ndugu zetu, mm. ama dada zetu. Amen. Kwa nesema atuta muachilia. Na wanatutishia na zile sadaka wameinua Na sinu na wambia tukona sadaka ya the blood of Jesus Amen. Na ni lazima every opposing power yes. Ambao inakupinga ukienelea leo tuinyamazisha yes. Sema ni tainyamazisha Ni tainyamazisha Haka muambia wewe ni muongo sana Na tena wewe ni mulagai Ni mtu ambao unalagai watu vitu vyao Enelea yes. Aha. Wewe ni mtoto wa imbilisi Na wewe ni mtoto wa imbilisi Wewe adui wa chochote kilicho cha kweli. And they are opposers. Aha. Uh -huh. They oppose every good thing. They oppose when you want to build a new house. Yes. Wanapinga ukitaka kwenda to the next level. Yes. Na vile jana to recover everything. Uh -huh. I want to promise somebody we are going somewhere. Yes. Whether they oppose or they don't oppose. Amen. Na tangaza tunaendelea mbele. Amen. Na tangaza tunapanua manyumba. Amen. Na tangaza mashamba ndiyo tutaongeza. Amen. Na tangaza biashara kupanuka ndiyo zitapanuka. Yes. Maana kila nguvu pingamizi tunainyamazisha. Amen. Sema my father my God. My father my By God. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I silence every opposing voice. Silence every opposing voice. Ninanyamazisha kila sauti pingamizi. Ninanyamazisha kila sauti pingamizi. Katika jina la Yesu Christo. Katika jina la Yesu Christo. Haka muambia wewe ni mpinzani. Just the thing of wakati unataka kufanya kitu kizuri. Kuna watu tuwa wana oppose. Na zinaitangwa opposing powers. Ni nguvu zinapigia watu zikiwa nani ya watu wengine. Wana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. You may wanda kuona mtu wana kukasirikia. Wakati unakona baraka na huku muomba. Amen. Amen. 
unaweza siangaa ukiwa na biashara yako unaendelea na huku huku muomba pesa ukwenda kuanzisha lakini kuna mtu tu anaopos anapinga yes. unaweza shangaa mtu ambaye anapinga kanisa kama hii na si yake na kujange hapa lakini anaipinga maana ni maro ya kuopos ikiwa ndani ya watu lakini yes. natangaza raundi hii tunaikamata yote yes nasema tunaiopos katika jina la Yesu amen tunaipiga mpaka inyamaze kabisa amen katika jina la Yesu amen unaweza ona mtu anakasirika ukitumiwa na Mungu na si yeye anapea nanga nguvu za kutumika yes. inatangaza atakaye kuonea kijicho yeah. kwa sababu Bwana anakutumia hiyo njicho haitakuona tena amen itaingiwa na upofu amen wala anaamini aseme fire fire kwa hivyo akamwambia wewe ni mtu mbaya sana mpotoku na mlagae endelea Ukomi hata ki, hata mara moja hey. kujaribu kuzipotosha njia za Bwana zilizo nyoka unajaribu kupotosha watu kutoka katika njia za Bwana ambazo ndizo za ukweli maana wewe ni mpinzani wa kila kitu kizuri round hii ni maraundi hii ni masaa ya vita yes Bwana Yesu asifiwe hata wale watu wa my, watch, watch boxing zile boxing zina napigana yeah. unaweza ona mtu amepigwa raundi ya kwanza yes na maana wanaendaka raundi saba ama kumi unaona vile anaendelea kujikaza akija kumalizia anakunyao mm. kumalizia kiwa very powerful amen wenda ikao alitupiga the last session of the year yeah. but the last session of the year yes. we are going to knock them out amen i say we are going to knock them out, out. somebody say i will knock them out i will knock them out unaona anga jamaa amepigwa lakini pale mwisho amaanza kujikaza yule mtu alikuwa na mlima baadaye anapigwa knockout anatolewa kwa ring amen. round hii tunawatoa kwa ring amen atuta enjoy baraka na wao Amen. Ni asio na siana sasa Israeli yake la kuwa yaka na ane na Misir. Yes. Maati lilo bando. Aha. Kama unaamini sema kila mu Misir. Kila mu Misir. Ambaya na nifuata kuni pinga. Ambaya na nifuata kuni pinga. Niki ingia kwa baraka zangu. Niki ingia kwa baraka zangu. Hata ingia pamoja na mimi. Hata ingia pamoja na mimi. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. When mpinzani wa kila kitu kizuri na mpotoshaji wa watu wa Mungu kutoka katika njia zake endelea. Sasa mkono wa Bwana utakuadhibu. Hey. Utakuwa kipofu na uta, utaweza kuona mwanga wa jua kwa kitambo. Aha. Mara kila kitu kikawa kama ukungu na ngiza kwake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kuna mkono wa Mungu ambao kazi yake ni kupanish. Yes. Kuna mkono wa Mungu ambao kazi yake ni kuprotect. Yes. Kuna mkono wa Mungu kazi yake ni ni, ni, ni kuprovide. Aha. Nataka leo tuombe na mkono wa Mungu wa kupanish. Yeah. Umwambie Bwana ninapoomba katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Every force opposing powers yes. fighting against my progress. Aha. My father lay your hands of punishment upon that person. Yes. Lay your punishing hand upon that wicked personality. Yes. Lay your punishing hand upon that wicked altar. Amen. Sabre say my father my God. My father my Nyo God. Nyosha mkono wako wa kuadhibu. Nyosha mkono wako wa kuadhibu. Uelekeze kwa madhabahu ya mashetani. Uelekeze kwa madhabahu ya mashetani. Ambao imeinuliwa kunipinga. Ambao imeinuliwa kuni... katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Sema amen. Amen. Akamwambia sasa mkono wa Bwana wa kuadhibu utakuwa juu yako na hautaona tena. Kuna amen. watu hawaruhusiwi kutuona tukiendelea. Amen. Nasema kuna watu hawaruhusiwi kutuona tukipaa. Amen. Na hawata tuona na hawata tuona. Amen. The fact remains ya kwamba mkono wa Bwana tukiuelekeza. Yes. Kama tunamwambia tubariki na anatubariki. Tukimwambia hawapige atawapiga. Yes. Because he is unchangeable changer. Amen. Kama tulimuita na akaitika. Yes. Akatuletea baraka. Yes. Tutamuita na atakuja. Yes. Na atanyoosha mkono atawapiga. Amen. Sema my father my God. My father my Anaye God. Anayenipiga. Nyosha mkono wako wa hukumu. Nyosha mkono wako. Na ukapate kumshambulia. Na ukapate kumshambulia. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Katika Christo. jina la Yesu. Sema amen. Amen. Endelea mpaka bastio. Akaanza kwenda huku na huku uh-huh. akitafuta mtu wa kumshika mkono. Aha. Uh-huh. Amuongo, amuongoze. Uh-huh. Yule yule mkuu wa kisiwa alipoona hayo. Aha. Uh-huh. Alio aliokoka mm. akawa mwamini mwa aka, akatajabia sana 
mafundisho aliyosikia juu ya Bwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna watu ambao they will never believe ya kwamba tuko na Mungu uh-huh. mpaka waone mahali wanategemeanga kumeisha. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. E, na unajua mimi najua kitu kimoja na hiyo najua na si lazima tukubaliane maana asifii yes. imani yako. Uh-huh. Ile ninajua hii kipindi ya kutoka Septemba mpaka Disemba yes. mazishi nyingi itakuwa ya wachawi na waganga. Hallelujah. Nasema mazishi nyingi itakuwa ya wachawi na waganga. Aha. Uh-huh. Maana ni lazima waelewe ya kwamba tuko na Jehova. Yes. Na watu tunyanyasa mpaka kutoka January mpaka Disemba. Yes. Sema kila mchawi kila mchao kila mganga kila mganga bali nimetoka mali nimetoka na hapa nilipo na hapa nilipo kamato na upofu kamato na upofu tomeka na fire tomeka na fire sema fire fire in the name of jesus but we must raise and fight unaona paulo hakugojea siku ingine ati waende fasting no wakati aliona the opposer of good things Yes. alidi na yeye hapo kwa hapo uh-huh. time has come and time is now yes. juzi nilikuwa kwa mazishi fulani uh-huh. atukiwa hapo na mke wangu kaja kamtu kamoja tunakajuanga ni kamchawi uh-huh. kakaanza kuleta maneno maneno hapo nikakaambia usijaribu kuleta uganga ile mnangu wanga nayo mahali tuko yes. tunajua hiyo ndio story yenu umekuja kutuchimba ndio ukatoroke yes life life mpaka yes. akachukua kabagi yake akaenda Amen. Time has come and time is now. Amen. To a confront macho kwa macho. Yes. Maana Yesu Kristo atakuja tukiwa waoga na mna hivyo. Aha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Sema napokea roho ya ujasiri. Napokea roho ya ujasiri. Mtu hawezi kuja hapo anakuongelesha maneno ya uchawi na unamwacha hivyo. Hata nakwambia hii biashara, hii naona unaona bila kugumu mwambie hiyo maneno ya uchawi utatoa kwa biashara yangu. Yes. Maana ukikosa kumconfront hiyo amesema itafanya kazi. Amen. Someone say I am going to fight them. I'm going to fight them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kuna watu ambao they are opposing uh-huh. good people from locating you. Yes. Kuna watu tu akijua kuna watu wazuri wanakuja kwako yes. wanawadivert. Uh-huh. Kuna watu wanakuja anga hii church every time kuna service yes. pale hicho kudivert watu wasikuje hapa. Uh-huh. Believe me what I'm telling you. Yes. Pay and more kaba kutabi ando habari negative kuhusu this church. Yes. Mimi ukitamani ikaba ama you want you know mimi yengi na maelewa yako likaba. Not they are opposing powers. Aha. Now we must silence them because the, the remaining part of this year. Yes. Yeyote Mungu aliandikia akombolewe hapa atakombolewa. Hallelujah. Hata kama amepotoshwa mara ngapi? Yes. Tumekataa watu wetu wakipotoshwa. Amen. Tutawatetea kwa anga. Yes. Kama unajua tutawatetea si useme faya kubwa. Faya. Na upigie Yesu makofi mazuri. Hallelujah. Kuna watu wakisema naenda ile kanisa ya aposto mtu mwingine anawahubiria habari nyingine anawaambia hiyo kanisa ni ya kitani. Uh-huh. Anawaambia maana they are just opposing watu wazuri mm. watu wanazuia hao watu kuunganika na watu wazuri ambao wanaweza wakawasaidia. Amen. Kuna watu wengine kule tumetoka our mm. brothers and our sisters hawajakombolewa yeah. na ni kwa sababu ya watu ambao wanaopose wao wanahubiria bad news about us. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Hapo tu mtu anahubiria habari mbaya kukuhusu wewe. Amen. Ndio wasikufuate, ndio wakae kwa ngiza, shetani endelee kuwanyanyaza. Sema round hii. Round hii. Mimi nitawachangamukia. Mimi nitawachangamukia. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Kwa nini naongea hivyo kwa sababu kama mtu atafanikiwa, unajua bidii yangu inanisaidianga just 30%. Yes. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. 70% nitasaidiwa na, na wale watu wazuri Mungu ametuma kwangu na wakafika. Amen. 30% ni yangu. Yes. Amen. Amen. Na kama ingekuwa basi 70% ni mimi, Amen. Yesu alipokuja duniani angeita mitume 12. Amen. Angeita watatu, alafu hiyo ingine afanye. So that means kama nitaenda mali lazima nikuwe surrounded by 70% good people. Amen. Kama sitakuwa na wao bus it will take me much time ama long time yes. kufika mahali nataka kwenda yes. maana the good people have been opposed from locating me amen inua mkono wako sema every good person every good person ambaye amezuiliwa kufika kwa maisha yangu ambaye amezuiliwa kufika kwa leo nitapambana na hizo nguvu zinaomzuia leo nitapambana na hizo nguvu zinazo kwa upako wa roho mtakatifu kwa upako wa roho mtakatifu na mahali walipo wataachiliwa Oh, that prayer you naomba hiyo maombi ni kama uamini kama itafanya kazi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. 70% of your progress imewekwa yes. kwa watu. Yes. 30% ndio iko ndani yako. Aha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ndio unaonanga kama ni ni ni, ni, ni mwanabiashara. Yes. 30% ni yake ataenda anunue vitu aleke kwa duka. 70% watu ndio watakujia ndio wapate faida. Si yeye yeah. awapelekee. Yeah. 
Are we together? Yes. Kama ni mtu ako na kipawa. That person ni yeye. I invest ko kama ni kipawa for example ya kuimba ama ama unabi. Ni ata invest prayer and fasting. Watu wa wata fast yeye aendelee. Yeye ndiye atafanya hizo vitu ainue madhabao. Alafu wakati ataanza ku manifest, people will come to celebrate his gift or her gift. Amen. Na hivyo ana celebrate the gift, yo ataifanya iende mbali. So Amen. you need people for you to achieve what God ordained you to achieve. Yes. Na kwa hivyo kama hao watu watakuja ni lazima tupambane na maroi nao wazuia. Amen. Zinaitwa opposition powers. Yes. Demons of opposition. Aha. Sema kila pepo inaopinga vitu zangu. Kila pepo inaopinga. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. First Thessalonians 2 verse 18. First Thessalonians 2 verse 18. Naongea kuhusu fighting powers of opposition. Kama sio kuzuiliwa, watu wengine wanatutazama leo wangekuwa mbali. Kama sio kuzuiliwa, watu wengine tuko hapa tungekuwa mbali. Lakini kwa sababu ya opposing powers, maroi inatuzuia yanga. Tumeambiwa we have been we have been introduced to another realm, a realm of recovery. Lakini kuna maroi inataka kuzuia hiyo maneno tu ile neno. Inakaa tu kwa anga inasema alipewa gari na wanaanza kuzuia is manifest. Lakini Amen. this time round we are very sharp. We are fighting them before they fight us. Yes. We are opposing them before they oppose us. Yes. First Thessalonians 2:18. Kwa hiyo Aha. Tuliamua kuwatembelea tena. Nami Paulo Aha. nilijaribu kuja kwenu zaidi ya mara moja. Aha. Lakini shetani ali, alituzuia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Huyu ni destiny helper ambaye ametumwa akasaidie watu mahali yes. lakini shetani amemzuia kwenda kupelekea watu habari njema. Amen. Kuna mtu mahali amekuwa akitamani kuja kwako kutoka January but yes. the opposing demons have been opposing that person. Aha. Demons have been have been preaching good bad news about you. Yes. Na ndio maana huyo mtu hajawahi kuja. Aha. Mwaja ni kuambia wale watu wanaamini kile natangaza siku ya leo. Yes. Maana ujumbe huu ni Bwana amenituma. Amen. Before this week is over. Yes. Good people are coming in your tent. Amen. Watu wazuri watakuja kwa nyumba yako. Amen. Sema my father my God. My father my God. Kila mtu mwema. Kila mtu mwema. Ambaye amezuiliwa. Ambaye amezuiliwa. Achiliwe achiliwe. Achiliwe achiliwe. Anasema ya kwamba I have been yearning, I have been longing to yes. come to bring good news to your houses. Amen. But Satan has been opposing me. Yes. Naitwa opposing powers. Aha. Just think of ati kuna mtu mahali amekuwa akitafuta kukuletea capital ya biashara. Lakini amezuiliwa na maro fulani namwambia huyo mtu hata ukimsaidia hawezi saidika. Yes. Me I want you to pray like crazy. Yeah. Ukiambia every opposing power. Aha. Release my blessing. Aha. Release my blessing. Yes. Release my next level. Yes. Release my miracle. Yes. Somebody say every opposing powers. Every opposing power. I command you now. I command you in now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lose my good people. Lose my good people. Achilia watu wangu wazuri. Achilia watu wangu. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Sema fire. Fire. Kuna mtu mahali amepepa your prophecy of the next level. Yes. Lakini powers of darkness have been opposing that person. Uh-huh. We are going to to scatter those demons. Yes. We are going to shatter their altars. Uh-huh. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Anasema ya kwamba na huyu ni mtumishi wa Mungu. Uh-huh. Na Paulo si mtu mdogo. Anasema ya kwamba I 14 years ago I was caught up even to the third heaven. Ni mtu ametembea na Mungu kwa hali ya juu sana. Yes. Lakini the devil is able to oppose him. Uh-huh. So when we come to fighting in the in the in the in the area of fighting opposing powers, hapa yes. hakuna mtu ako secure. Uh-huh. Even the popes, even the preachers, uh-huh. kuna vitu ambazo mashetani imeamua kutuzuilia. Yes. Hivyo ni lazima tuzichangamukie kabla hazijatutangamukia. Amen. Sema my father my God. My father my God. I am ready today. I To fight every powers of opposition. To fight every powers of opposition. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say fire. Fire. Anasema imagine nimekuwa nikitamani kuja kwenu niwaletee habari njema. Aha. Aki. Kabla kama ni Mungu anaongea kwa hii mara baada. Yes. 
before another sunday before another monday yes watu wazuri watakuwa wamepanga laini huyu akitoka mwingine anakuja amen unajua hii ni kuanga yako hata nimekuwa nikifikiria kukuletea hii kiatu amen. na siji wangu wanasahau na mna gani amen watu watatu walioinua mikono kamata hiyo neema i receive watu watoke from now ya kuambia imagine nimekuwa nikijaribu kule niambiwa ulikuwa na projects na nilikuwa nikijaribu kutaka kukuja sijui nini wanga inanisikia lakini amen. leo nimesikia nikuje amen kamata hiyo muujiza nimekamata Come out and good people. May they locate you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Isome kitabu cha Daniel 10:13. There are demonic forces that rises to in the people with your blessing. Kuna maroho tu ina inasimama kuzuia watu walio na baraka yako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na unajua wakati utajua kile ninajaribu kuongea hapa. Aha. Mara ile nyingi utaombea wale watu wamepewa vitu zako. Yes. Maana ndio wengi kuliko zile uko nazo. Yes. Amen. Yes, If that percent depends on yourself, but 70 is with other people. When you lose the 70, you will go ahead in an immediate way. Amen. Ama utaenda mbele kwa uraisi. Amen. Lakini ngishia Mungu ni kubariki. Mungu ataleta baraka lakini zitakuwa zitatosha. Lakini hao watu wengine 70 wakiachiliwa. Amen. Every day Ah, tutaenda haraka sana. Yes. Bwana Yesu atifiwe. Amen. Hata mitu zingine watu wameangangana for years. Sisi hatu angangana maana tukiondoa opposing powers tu. Mtu atakuwa analala hivi anakufikiria. Ana, ana Amen. Anakufikiria. Yes. Anakufikiria. Uh-huh. Anakufikiria. Yeah. Inatabiri katika jina la Yesu. Yes. Ya kwamba before Wednesday. Yes. Kuna watu watasukuma tu kutumia pesa. Amen. Zitaingia kwa mpesa yako. Yes. Sema napokea hiyo. Napokea hiyo. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Daniel 10:13 ama uanze tu first you. Daniel 10 mstari wa 12 uteremke tu. Ndipo ye, ndipo yeye akaniambia Danieli usiogope Mungu alisikia ombi lako tangu siku ile ya kwanza ulipoamua kujinyenyekeza mbele mbele zake Aha. ili upate ufahamu Aha. Mimi nimekuja kwa ajili ya ombi lako hilo Aha. Mkuu wa Pash, mkuu wa ufalme wa Pashia Aha alinipinga mm. kwa muda wa siku ishirini mm. na moja mm. lakini Mikaeli mmoja wa wakuu akaja kunisaidia Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen Kwa hiyo <laughs> nikamwacha huko pamoja na mkuu wa ufalme wa Pashi Amen Amen Kuna maombi leo nataka sisi tuombe tu Amen Wende kwa wale watu tuko tumekuja hapa Mungu ndiye alikuwa ameappoint tupate hii information. Yes. Ama hii revelation. Amen. Maana nataka zile vitu zimeachiliwa za kurikava tuharakishe wale watu wanakuja nazo. Yes. Maana tuliambiwa vitu zingine ziko na watu Aha. na ni lazima hao watu watuletee. Amen. So tumekuja kukamata kile kiliwazuia kusifikisha January. Amen. Ndio wazilete September. Amen. Na October. Yes. Na November. Aha. Na tukifika December yes. tutainua mikono tuseme Bwana Yesu asante. Danieli akasema ya kwamba yes. as I was praying Aha. malaika akafika kwangu akaniambia nilitumwa kitambo Aha. lakini nikazuiliwa mahali yeah. ninaongea kwa upako wa kiunabii yeah. yeyote alizuiliwa miaka 21 yeyote alizuiliwa miezi 21 yeyote alizuiliwa wiki 21 yeyote yes. alizuiliwa masai 21 ndio yes. asilete baraka kwako ninatangaza kwa upako wa kiunabii yes. ya kwamba kuna malaika anashinda pale Aha. kuna malaika anashughulikia hiyo anga yes. na muujiza wako unaachiliwa na baraka yako inaachiliwa yes. na upenyo wako unaachiliwa yes. na ushuhuda wako unaachiliwa yes. na pesa yako inaachiliwa na hiyo next level inaachiliwa si mtu aseme ninapokea ninapokea akamwambia Danieli nilizuiliwa Aha. na kama si kuzuiliwa ningekuwa nishakuja yes. just think of mtu ako hapa anaendelea kufunga ama unanitazama you Aha. are still fasting you are praying for the same same thing you Aha. were praying for on January Aha. and it has never manifested mm-hmm. but because the powers of opposition have been holding back your testimony yeah. i want to decree and declare yes. ya kwamba this is the time amen for your prayer answer to be delivered amen the prayers of your answer are going to be delivered amen 
I'm saying the answers of your prayers. Yes. This is the season of being answered. Amen. Haya ndio majira ya kujibiwa maombi. Aha. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Yes. Somebody say powers of opposition. Powers of opposition. Come out of my life. Come out of my life. Lose my blessing now. Lose my blessing now. Lose my miracle now. Lose my miracle. Lose 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 lose. Lose lose lose. In the name of Jesus. I have been waiting. Aha. For rescue. So yes. that nilete baraka yako. Yes. Baka Mikaeli akakuja. Kama itabidi tutume Mikaeli leo, uh-huh. tutamtuma Mikaeli. Amen. Nasema kama itabidi tutume Mikaeli. Yes. Mtu anitazama kazi yake iachiliwe tutamtumba. Aha. Uh-huh. Na kazi yako itaachiliwa. Amen. Na ndoa yako itaachiliwa. Amen. Na biashara yako itaachiliwa. Amen. Ninaomba kwa upako wa kiona nabii. Aha. Uh-huh. Nikitumba Mikaeli kwa anga yako. Yes. Mahali vitu zako zilicheleweshwa. Uh-huh. Mikaeli anashuka pale. Hiyo kambi inateketea. Vitu yes. zako zinaachiliwa. Amen. Kamata muujiza. Nimekamata. Jesus. Nimekuwa nikitamani mm-hmm. lakini nikazuiliwa. Mkuu yes. wa Persia. Nataka tuombe tukimwambia mkuu wa Persia. Uh-huh. Mchezo hautaleta kwangu saa hii. Amen. I am resisting you by power. Aha. Uh-huh. Nimekusomea Paulo akiwa amejaa Roho Mtakatifu. Yes. Akamwambia wewe kuanzia saa hii hautaona kwa muda sisi hatutawaambia waone kwa muda tutawaambia hamtaona forever amen watafanya kusikia kile kinaendelea na watakuona yes sema my father my god my father my god deliver me today deliver me today in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hebu sikia hii second samuel chapter 5 verse 6 to 10 i was amazed to read such kind of a scripture Huyu ni mfalme mzima mfalme Daudi na mfalme Daudi si kijana. Huyu ni mtu amebobea kwa mambo ya kiroho. Mfalme Daudi huyu ndiye tumesoma hapo nyuma fasi Samuel ameua Goliath, ameua amefanya kazi nyingi sana ya kiroho. Lakini time came. Maana nimekuambia this opposition is not about your name. Amen. Hapa atisi kwa sababu uko mkubwa ama uko mdogo everybody as long as you are living and you are born again you are being opposed amen wanaweza wasifiwe they are demons that are fighting your next level amen now the demons are in, inside men and women yeah and they know very well they are fighting you yes and this time round we are sending blindness to them yes nasema round it na watumia upofu amen ukiona watu hawaoni hawaoni tena yes ujue umewashughulikia na umewakamata amen katika jina la Yesu amen second samuel chapter 5 verse 6 kuna mpaka 10 Mwenyezi Mungu aliwaadhibu vikali na kuwatisha watu wa Ashdod. Aha. Uh-huh. Aliwaadhibu hata hata na majirani zao kwa kuwaletea ugonjwa wa majipu. Second Samuel. Second Samuel chapter 5 verse number 6. Listen to this. David led his men to Jerusalem to fight against the Jebusite yes. the original inhabitants of the land who were living there Amen. the Jebusites taunted David saying Amen. you will never get in here even the blind and the lame could keep you out Amen. for the Jebusites thought they were safe yeah uh-huh. wanamwambia Daudi Daudi huwezi ukaingia hii anga yes hata tukakutumia vipofu na viwete watakuzuilia Amen. Hiyo ni madharau ya aina gani? Aha. Na wakati unasikia anasema even the lame and the blind ni watu uh-huh. ambao even they are not born again. Lakini uh-huh. kuna mtu mahali anasema hata tukamtumia mchawi mmoja atamwangusha. Sema yeah. round hii. Round hii. Nitakuwa mkali sana. Nitakuwa mkali sana. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Kwa hivyo verse 7 inasema but David captured the fortress of Zion which is now called the city of David verse Amen. on the day of the attack David Amen. said to his troops I hate those lame and blind Jebusites uh-huh. whoever attacks them should strike them by should strike by going into the city through the water tunnel that is the origin of the saying Amen. the blind and the lame may not enter the house ebusoma kiswahili ndi yousikie Ah watu nasikia na waita opposing powers opposing demons inside men and wicked men and women ni watu ambao wako na madhabao ukisoma verse hebu soma Kiswahili uteremke tu mpaka verse 8 ndio tupate kushikilia baadaye aha 
Falme na watu wake walikwenda Jerusalem. Aha. Kuwashambulia wayebusi waliokaa waliokuwa wenyeji wa nchi hiyo. Aha. Lakini wao wakamwambia, mm. "Hutaingia mjini humu." Endelea. Kwani vipovu na vilema mm -hmm. watakufu, watakufukuzia mbali. Alimwambia hivyo kwani uh -huh. walifikiri kuwa Daudi uh -huh. azingeweza kuingia mjini humu. Endelea. Hata hivyo mm -hmm. falme Daudi aliitega ngome ya Sioni uh -huh. yaani mji wa Daudi. Mm -hmm. Siku hiyo uh -huh. Daudi alisema uh -huh. mtu yeyote atakaye wapinga uh -huh. wayembusi na apitie kwenye mfereji wa, wa maji ili kuyashambulia vilem kuwashambulia vilema na vipovu Aha. ambao roho yangu inawachukia ndio maana watu hao husema vipovu na vilema hawataingia nyumbani bwana asifiwe amen daudi akajua ya kwamba now mm -hmm. it's, it's not about these guys ambao wamesimama yeah the, the ma, ma people they are opposing demons siko katika hawa vipovu na hawa vilema hao ndio wanatumika kama system of opposition. Aha. Akasema kama mtu atakuja hapa, hao ah, watu hawasemi hiyo kwa sababu wao ndio watapigana. Hapana, kuna some powers wanapewa kutoka hao lames and blinds. Yes. Of course mtu akitokea atahurumia hao. Kumbe hao ndio huwa wanatumika kuzuia watu kupenya. Amen. Kwa Daudi akawaambia wanajeshi wake, kama tutapenya hapa, tutapitia ile mfereji ya nyuma kwanza tuue hawa, hao wenye madhabahu. Hao wana service madhabahu ya kuopoza. Yeah. Tukiua hao, hao wengine watafanya kutoroka. Aha. La, look at this. Look yes. at this. Wakati yeah. walifanya hivyo, Daudi akajua ya kwamba I have dealt with the demons with the backup. Amen. The system of backup ambayo uh -huh. inazuia watu kupenya kwa kamata hii mji. Yeah. Daudi alikuwa amekamata miji mingi sana. Na wale walikuwa wanapambana na na yeye pia wao walikamata miji lakini hii moja ilishindikana maana kulikuwa na madhabahu ilikuwa inaopoza watu kukamata baraka zao yes. na huo mji ndio ulikuwa ordained Aha. for David yeah. kwa hivyo wakajua kama Daudi aduta kufanyia madhabahu tuje kuopoza ye yeah. Daudi yes. atakuja kutusumbua maana this city ni yake na ikiakisha deposition hapa kuna vile atakuwa divinely aligned Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. But it was until akamata hiyo territory ndio at position to the position of God. Amen. Ndio Mungu apate kumpatia the right backup. Amen. And the right guidance. Yes. Kama kiongozi wa wengi. Yeah. Now I'm talking to somebody who is watching me or listening to me. Aha. Kuna watu ambao ni lazima watoke mahali yes. ndio wao uingie. Na hapo mahali ndio kuna laini yako ya mbingu. Yes. Jacob anasafiri akiongopa akiongopa dugu yake sawa. Anafika mahali analala. Na yes. hapo analala kumbe ndio kuna mlango wake wa mbingu. Mahali ambapo ndio anafaili kufanya covenant na Mungu ya generations to come. Amen. Kwa hiyo inamaanisha kwamba kama angejikuwa position katika hapo mahali, yes. angepata the covenant yake na Mungu. Amen. Kuna watu mnanitazama na wengine mnanisikiza. Itabidi upambane na opposing powers. Yes. Dio watu wengine waondolewe mahali uingie. Ukiingia hapo ndio utakuwa divinely aligned. Yes. Na ukiwa with divine alignment, ili kuambia God will find you to the right place yes. with the right people Aha. doing the right thing yes. with the right motive Aha. and God Almighty will bless you. Yes. Na hautangangana. Bibili inaniambia ya kwamba Daudi alipofanya hivyo yes. wale maadui wote wakatoroka. Bibili kimalizi inasema ya kwamba na akaingia katika ule muji yes. na akaterrorize aka akauchukua na baada ya kuuchukua akabanlisha jina akauita muji wa Daudi. Amen. Beleni ulikuwa muji wa wajabu zaidi lakini alipopokea maana it was his territory. Yes. Ninaachilia territory ya mtu hapa. Maana inaona unafaa kuwa na biashara kubwa. Amen. Lakini kuna viweta na vipofu. Yeah. Wafunga majina wafunga mapepo. Yeah. Watu wanaotegemea irisi. Walikamata vitu zako. I pray in the name of Jesus. Yeah. May thunder of God strike there. Na radi ya Bwana iwakamate leo. Waondolewe kwa territory yako. Yes. Ukisema faya kubwa kamata hiyo neema. Fire! Daudi akawashambulia na walipotoka akaingia na akamalisha kibao. Aha. Uh -huh. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Kuna watu wako hapa wao wanasaidi kuwa wana biashara wakubwa. Amen. Lakini somebody came and leaked. Mm -hmm. Akajua unataka kufanya hii. Yes. Akaenda na hiyo roho. Uh -huh. I was very much amazed. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Mtu mmoja hii church alikuja aka alikuwa na biashara 
na mtu akaja kwa biashara yake. Kwa kiendelea hapo akamwambia, "By the way nataka kufungua eh, biashara ya aina fulani na fulani. Ninakuomba unipatie jina." Anaweza asifiwe. Amen. Huyo mtu pasipo na kujua na yeye akiwa roho safi, akampatia jina ya hiyo biashara. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Huyo mtu akaenda akan akafungua na alipofungua akaja kwa huyo mtu akamwambia niliona ukiwa na mtu hapa anaweza nisaidia kazi si unipe anisaidi yangu amen okay hata mimi nilikuwa natafuta maana anatafuta msaada acha nikupe na ni mtu wako alipomaliza ni mtu wa hicho siku moja akatoa testimony alipompatiana huko akaenda kufanya kazi huko alipoenda kufanya kazi huko kazi ya huyo ikaanza kwenda chini na huyo mwingine alipeana ji, alimpatia jina yake ikainuka Amen. Na within a very short period, watu wakaanza kusema hiyo biashara yako huko, sasa ni ya mwenye hii inaenda chini. Yeah. Na watu huko hata huko kadekani wanajua hiyo biashara ni ya huyo mtu. Wanaitwa powers of opposition. Wakiona unataka kupenya, wanakamata kitu yako. Ndio maana nimesema kuna supermarket kwa mahali na hiyo jina iko hapo si ya huyo ni yako utaingia na uweke jina yako. Amen. Kuna kashamba iko mahali imeandikwa title deed ya mtu mwingine. Aha. Na tutawatoa tuandike yako. Amen. Kama unaamini tuseme fire. Fire. Sasa huyo mtu alipoona hapa kuna kitu wrong akaja akatuelezea. Is and this and this and this happened. Huyo mtu alikuja akajua nikachomoa jina kwa huyu nimechomoa roho ya baraka. Huyo akahamisha ile favor by before akuje kuchukua jina huyu mtu mwenye hii biashara alikuwa anaendelea vizuri sana. Amen. Vizuri sana. Aha. Kabisa. Lakini after kuja hapo amwambia nitafutie jina nikaweke. Kumbe hivyo ameambiwa ni mtu wa kumanipulate. Akaenda na roho ya biashara huyu. Amen. Huyu akafilisika ile akaanza kuinuka. Amen. Walipo ni recognize ya kwamba kuna kitu kinaendelea hapa na wakaanza kuomba. Yule mtu alikuwa ameajiriwa akaafiwa sikutaki hapa akakuta. Amen. Akalishu. Mimi si, si Mungu afanye mathematics yake tu wale wanakukula wajulikana. Yes. Na wakianza kuenda chini wewe uende na juu. Amen. Because we are fighting powers of opposition. Yes. Sema kila roho ya shetani. Aha. Inaopinga department zangu. Yes. Inaopinga project zangu. Yes. Kamata fire. Sema fire mara tatu. Fire. Ya pili. Fire. Ya tatu. Fire. In the name of Jesus. Father my God I want to speak to somebody in the name of Jesus Amen I want to do like my father because he is a professor of yes. prophets Uh-huh he oversees uh-huh. he sees over Uh-huh Ruth Wilson Ruth Wilson I'm praying for your business your business for the last 3 months in a quick stagnate no 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 profit kama inaenda chini but because of tuning in this service Yes. I am praying for you in the name of Jesus. Uh-huh. Ya kwamba every powers that have been opposing you. Yes. Mali naona project zako zimekwama, aziendelee zimekwama, umefika mahali hata umechukua loan na imekwama. You are not going on. Uh, imekwama tu. Yes. Uh, and you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Ruth Wilson, I know. You know what I'm talking about. Hiyo project ilikwama. Kuna kitu kilihusika pale. Kuna mtu aliinafia na ndio tunawaita powers of opposition. Uh-huh. Uh, vile tu hapa tuko kwa platform kubwa. I wish ungekuwa naongea ningekwenda ningeenda deeper but of course I will come back to you. Ndio nikupeleke to the source of your problem and the source of your stagnation because kuna uchawi ilifanyika hapo. Your projects are not going on. Naona nyumba yako imekwama mahali. Naona nyumba yako uja hujaezeka. Hujaezeka. Ruth Wilson na ni uachawi walikuchangamkia yeah. but because of tuning on this altar mm-hmm. the altar of fire yes. the altar where god speaks uh-huh. the altar where god restores yes. the altar where god confirms uh-huh. the altar where god strengthens yes. the altar where god establishes yes. i pray in the mighty name of jesus yes. before 15th of this month uh-huh. pesa yako itakwamuka amen pesa yako iliyokuwa imekwama inaachilia katika jina la yesu amen. Ruth Wilson I prophesy. Uh-huh. Kila madhabahu iliwekelewa pesa yako. Yes. Inaona 5700 zimewekelewa kwa madhabahu ya shetani. 5500 zimewekelewa mahali. Wakasema they have oppressed your spirit of, of advancement. But as I'm praying for you right now. Yes. That altar is splitting apart. Amen. That altar is splitting apart. Amen. Your finances are being delivered. Amen. Your finances are being released now. Amen. Pokea roho ya kuendelea. I 
receive. Amen. That case is sorted. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Ruth Wilson Tuma that testimony. I will be waiting to hear that story. Amen. Because I will have to give a testimony on this altar. Amen. Nyumba zako zimewachiliwa. Amen. Tenda zako zimewachiliwa. Amen. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Hallelujah somebody. Amen. Stanley King I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Yes. Uh, from this altar. Uh-huh. Ya kwamba any opposing demon. Yeah. Ambayo imekuwa ikiopose biashara uh-huh. yako kupanuka. Yes. Uh, from this moment. Yes. It is going to lose you. Yes. It is going to leave you. Uh-huh. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Na kama Stanley King of biashara yako hujaandika jina before 15 make sure umeandika jina. Amen. Na hiyo jina make sure umeandika favor somewhere. I don't know ile utaandika lakini weka favor somewhere and you are going to see God of this altar Amen. manifesting in your business in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Can I prophesy like my father? Yeah. Can I do what my father does? Prophesy. I prophesy in the name of yes. Jesus that God is going to restore you. Amen. God is going to advertise you. Amen. God is going to anoint you with favor. Amen. Because I see people coming to bring you a blessing. Yes. Every opposing power, uh-huh. it is losing you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. My God. Mm. Hallelujah. God is telling me to, to talk to somebody who is here. Amen. Go and be here. Can I stand here? Yes. You come out and be here, man. But 27th of this month, Mm-hmm. 27th of this of this month. Yes. Kuna mtu atakuja akuletee kitu imekukula kika miaka. Amen. It is connected with a business. Uh-huh. It is connected with a business. Yes. Biashara umekuwa ukitamani either connection ama vile tu utaanza but by the 27th of this month mm. God is going to confirm it. Amen. I don't know uh sijui kwa nini nimeenda 27 but I know it is prophetic. Amen. When I was a few. Amen. I am just thinking of you know God works with numbers. Yes. Mungu fanya kazi na numbers. Kuna uh-huh. malaika anaachiliwa kuja kwako. Yes. Wait a minute. Today is on 6. Yes. Amen. Amen. 27 minus 6. 21. 21. Daniel was praying and in the 21st my God. Uh-huh. Something is happening to somebody. Amen. Your business has been released. Yes. Kila roi liyokuwa inapinga. Uh-huh. Imeashia. I receive. Fire. Fire. Yeah. God works with numbers. Uh-huh. Those who are wise. Yes. Ukisoma in the book of Revelation. Ukisoma in the book of Revelation. And I'll get mm-hmm. the number about what you are naita. The mark of the beast. Na nasema uh-huh. ya kwamba alie na ekima atayelewa esabu ya hiyo number. Yeah. Kwa hivyo God works with numbers. Uh-huh. Kwa nini ni mungu amenipeleka tu nikasema 27th of this month. Uh-huh. Na tuka kumbuka ya tuka tuanisha sita. Ika kuja kuingia 21st. Uh-huh. Ama 21 days. Yes. Kwa nini mungu ameweka prop. Aka program na mi to be genuine. Si kuwa ni mefikiria yu maesabu. Amen. Mefanya tuku fikiria nikiwa hapa prophetically. Hallelujah. Ina maana ya kwamba kuna mujizo umeachiliwa. Amen. I prophesy it is done. Yes. God will confirm it. Amen. God will confirm it. Amen. God will restore it. Amen. God will establish you. Amen. And God will strengthen you. Amen. Somebody receive it. I receive. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God. Amen. When you have been waiting, when you have been waiting, but finally, when you have been waiting, the title of the city, Ikaitwa Muji, the city of David. Amen. Na vile poso alisema ya kwamba tutaregeshia wana mtajenga cities in our homes. Amen. I think this word is already confirmed once again. Amen. Ya kwamba you will have your own city. Amen. I say you will have your own city. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you so much our viewers for tuning in. Na wale abo mengi bada hii. Kile inakuwa ni kwamba prophecy, prophecy is provoked. And it, is, and it is stamped on the altar. Uwe ina, ina chochewa na kuwe kwa muuri katika madaba. Amen. Hivyo kama unataka tusonge ya raka, inataka ni kupatia na fasi, tuma sadaka yako kwa namba mbao tumekupatia na mpale. Amen. Na mungu wa mbinguni atakubariki. Na anything Amen. that God has spoken concerning you, uh-huh. it shall come to pass. Yes. It shall come to manifest. Amen. For it cannot be otherwise. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you so much. Ukiwa kwa hapo, unatanzama, ungependa kuokoka ama kumrudia bwana kuna Amen. mahali umesikia ya kwamba auendi sawa sawa vile ulikuwa unaenda na ungependa kumrudia bwana naomba uombe maombi yeye nyuma yangu sema bwana yesu bwana yesu mwana wa mungu mwana wa mungu ninakupenda 
Nina kupenda. Nisamedha dhambi zangu. Nisamedha dhambi zangu. Makosa yangu yote. Na makosa yangu yote. Leo nimekupokea. Leo nimekupokea. Uwe Bwana. Uwe Bwana. Na mwokozi. Na mwokozi. Kwa maisha yangu. Kwa maisha yangu. Ya kale yamepita. Ya kale yamepita. Sasa mimi ni kiumbe kipya. Sasa mimi ni kiumbe kipya. Andika jina langu. Andika jina langu. Kwenye kitabu. Kwenye kitabu. Cha uzima wa milele. Cha uzima wa milele. Na leo. Na leo. Nimeokoka. Nimeokoka. Yesu Kristo ni Bwana. Yesu Kristo ni Bwana. Kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. Nimeomba. Nimeomba. Na nimeamini. Na nimeamini. Sema amen. Amen. God bless you so much kwa wale ambao mmemrudia Bwana na wale ambao mmeokoka. Neema ya Bwana ikutoshi. Hiyo neema imekuokoa ikuhifadhi na ikuweke to another level. Father I pray in the name of Jesus I cover my viewers with the blood of Jesus and in your favor. Ya kwamba kila mahali watakwenda sasa Neema hii ambayo imewaokoa, neema hii ambayo imewahudumia siku ya leo uh-huh. itakwenda kuwafungulia milango. Na ninatangaza hii wiki yote oh, yes. from Monday to Sunday. Uh-huh. No 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 loss. Yes. It is only profit. Ni kuendelea uh-huh. na kufanikiwa katika jina la Yesu. Uh-huh. Milango ambayo ilikuwa imefungika sasa imefunguka. Yes. Inatilia malaika wa Bwana yes. alete good news Amen. to your house, to your family, to your uh-huh. academics, to whatever you are doing in Jesus mighty name I pray and I believe. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you so much in Jesus name. Shalom shalom. Tukutane